Well, welcome guys. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to prove this formula. So this formula is very common uh, in the, I mean, hopefully you're not studying high energy physics or like the or linear algebra. So basically if A is a positive definite, okay, so first I'm sorry that I write something uh, not very clearly, uh, sorry, not just some messy, but uh, I think the idea is that uh, we need to compute this integral, okay. So minus x uh, t is transpose. So x is a vector, right? And uh, composed with x1 up to xn. And we are trying to compute this integral. And uh, uh, if you go to Wikipedia or something, other people, other results that people like to say this is pi to n divided by 2 divided by uh, determinant of a. Okay, so this is a very common result. But uh, seldom people give the exact proof. So in this video, I want to give exact proof. Okay, uh, please subscribe to my channel, click that button, and uh, I mean the notification bell, okay? Okay, so our goal is to compute this i, okay? So the first is that, the first uh, remark I want to say that uh, 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 we can assume a is Hermitian, or, or, or sorry, a is positive, a is positive, definite, definite, and a is, uh, a, is, uh, trans a is the same as his transpose. Okay, so uh, yeah, a should be symmetric. Okay, so the idea is that uh, if not, if a is not symmetric, then I can replace a to be a to the transpose plus a divided by 2. And it's easy to see that x to the transpose, a transpose x is the same as x transpose a, x transpose. Right, so by definition, this guy, uh, this can be written as this. So this lemma tells you that if a is not symmetric, then I can always make a to be symmetric. Okay, now we are going to prove. Okay. So before uh, we know that in a linear algebra, any symmetric matrices can be a diagonal can be diagonalizable, right? So and so we can I can write the uh, a d as p d a p, and the idea is that uh, since a is uh, symmetric, so uh, p is a unitary matrix, and the x can equals to then the x equals to p y. So I I do a, a so called uh, so called what so called uh, uh, change of variable, right? So how about that? Uh, I need x1 to be p1, 1, y1, p1 to y2, up to p1, and yn. x2 to be, to be p2, 1, y1, plus p2 to y2, p2, and yn. And x1 to be pn1, y1, pn2, y2, pn, and yn. Right, trivial. Right, and uh, by definition, so your x transpose ax will be y transpose dy, right? Because right now, the definition of a. Okay. Okay, so uh, what? So that means uh, your original a. The integral is the same, right? Because if all it comes to infinity, then x1 can be infinity, and all it's in inf negative infinity, then x1 can be negative. So the integral is the same. Uh, sorry, the integral is the same. And the x t a x become negative y d t y. Now uh, these are diagonal matrices, and uh, you need to tie so called what? So this is the uh, Jacob Jacobian, right? So partial x1 x n y1 y. So if you see partial x1, y1 will be this p1, y. So partial x1, y2 will be p1, 2, right? So this, actually this uh, Jacobian will just be the determinant of this p matrix, and we saw that the p is unitary, so p is what? Determinant of p is what? By the way, I use the absolute p to label determinant. Okay. So this i will be some uh, all infinity, so this guy is 1, right? Exponential lambda 1 y1 square minus lambda 2 y2 square lambda 1 lambda 2 uh, up to lambda n is the determinant of this It's the eigenvector uh, value of this original d Or original a right so this is dy1 dy2 and then we know that uh, each Exponential lambda 1 uh, minus lambda 1 y1 square dy1 is basically this Gaussian integral And uh, if you don't know that uh, I will post uh, my gamma function lecture below so you can prove this Okay, I, you can go to my check my video. I have a lot of video proving this idea. So now uh, our i will be pi divided by, uh, right? So we have a square root of pi and we have n of length. So it's n divided by 2 and lambda 1 up to lambda n square. Uh, take a square root. And then what is the product of all eigenvector, uh, eigenvalue? Just be the determinant of a, right? So we prove this. Okay, so uh, maybe we see a trivial example. So this example is like, uh, right, some people like to ask. So exponential negative x square minus x y minus y square ds dy infinity according to negative infinity. Okay, so right. So we I can write it as this. So obviously the a should be x like one one half a half, right? This is one one, and uh, you need to uh, separate divided by two. So you have half. Okay, so the determinant of it will be one minus one over four, right? So it's three divided by four. So the answer will be pi two divided by two. 
divided by square root of uh, 3 over 4. So it's 2 pi divided by square root of 3. Okay, uh, yeah, so this integral has some uh, has some impact on uh, if you learn about high energy physics or like the path integral, okay, something really, uh, uh, I should say, uh, funny, but uh, probably it's not related to your life. Okay, and everybody, subscribe to my channel.